Hello everyone, my name is Tricky Acid, for those of you who don't know, and in this video I'm here to show all of you how to get possibly the coolest Raider armor in the game. It is known as the Helmeted Cage Armor, and this is what it looks like. It looks very, very, very awesome. I've actually wanted this armor for quite a while. Um, possibly it's a random drop, but I'm guessing you have to eliminate quite high tiered raiders to actually obtain it but there's one specific location which i went to a specific boss known as bedlam who you have to defeat and you can grab this off her it's actually her drop um i think it looks pretty awesome i love the chains and everything i just think it looks really really cool and i'm here to show you guys how to get it for those of you who um, haven't got it yet so the thing is this is this is uh, these are the uh, statistics it has 28 in terms of damage resistance 35 resistance against, I believe that is, energy weapons. Um, I did have Kellogg's outfit before, so that's how it actually compares. Uh, but I think the um, cage armor is just that much better because it just looks badass. Now, the location we have to go to to actually get this is, if you go to the far hand right hand side of the map, it is known as the... Done which borrows basically it is a mine that is infested with raiders so make sure you come prepared and bedlam is quite a tough boss as well so make sure you do have some good weaponry possibly take power armor with you um, because it will help now this is also a place where you can grab a weapon known as the krem's tooth uh, which is a very powerful melee weapon which i have renamed as the big dick cheese knife <laughs> Uh, for those of you who have not seen that video and want to know where you can get it from, it's the same location but I made it in a separate video and there's the annotations already provided on the video so you guys can check that out as well once you watch this. Right, let's um, head over to the Dunwich Burrows and um, kill Bedlam and uh, grab ourselves the armor. Hello everyone, we've arrived at the Dunwich Burrows. Now I've put power armor on because it just makes life a hell of a lot easier and you guys are going to be taking on quite a cluster of bad guys so let's just quickly switch to a lovely weapon i guess we can use the pay and spray because why not now um you guys can see there's going to be a lot of bad guys here and all you need to do is just jump down all the way to the bottom having power armor helps because there is no full damage and all you guys need to do is you guys can see from my location currently what I've dropped you see this stairway they're going leading up all you need to do is just keep going through here and you guys are gonna come across um, this idiot here but besides that um, you're gonna come across this door and that's where Bedlam is gonna be she's gonna be right at the bottom and you gotta eliminate her to get the caged helmet armor oh, Raider scum Goodbye! Now, what's going to happen here guys is that right at the bottom of this place is Bedlam. Now, the reason why I will power armor is because honestly, instead of me going down the stairs, I can just drop straight down. POW! And there she is. And look at her cool armor she's got. Let's take care of her minion first, and then we can take care of Bedlam. Now, she's level 39 as you guys can see. Um, to get that perk itself, you can just get it from the um, perk tree. And there we go. Just a few more hits and she's dead. Good night, darling. And thank you for the armor. Well, let's drag a dead body around somewhere. Into the light. La 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 la. And there's Bedlam for you. She's got some cool um, face paint. But that's it, guys. Once you've murdered her... What you need to do is just get out of there and just jump in the armor. So we're going to just switch to it now. Apparel, helmeted cage armor. Voila! Don't they look gorgeous? <laughs> um, but like I said before in the, uh, the start of the video, yes, there could be other areas where you can get this armor from. But this is just one good area where I think you can get it from because you can also, if you further progress through that door, you get Krem's Tooth. Um, and I've, like I said, made a annotation already on the video on the top so you guys can just go there and on that link and you guys can just check it out how you get that as well. 
but it's pretty good. Right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy your brand new armor for those of you who don't have it yet. And with that all being said, I love you all. Have a lovely, happy new year. Thank you for watching, and peace.